Okay, so for now let's learn how we can basically simply upload our game in Google Play Store. So you need to come in console account and click on create app. Once you do that, it will ask your app name. You can give anything and make sure you can change anytime. So just give it for now. So if your app is a game or app, set it to game. And if you want to pay your game like a paid downloader or free, let's give it free. Then set it to developer program policy, then accept US law. Once you're done, click on create app. Your app is now creating. Once you do that, you need to basically set up your app. That is to give you Google like a task. So set up your app. So we'll be use this in an alpha release. So click on set up the app. So now you need to click on app access and all the feature and spell all the spelling work however just click on saved okay all the function will be available once you do that then click on content rating then click on start and then you need to put your email address once you do that you need to set up that which type of game it is so it's a game so i'm just setting in a game click on next then any violation on anything nope 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 no nope 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 no 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 and no then click on save once you do that you find a control rating from now google so just click on back and then I can click on contain and click on edit and click on next make sure that you set up everything oh there's a, some no option more so just click on no and click on save if everything is okay click on next so you find here the control rating click on submit once you do that come in back now your content is done now you need to set the targets and addition click on go ads and yeah our game content ads that's why I click on save click on back now you need to add the privacy policy so in my case what i do i just open my blogger okay and i just simply create the uh, website for now because you must need to give a privacy policy page so user can understand that what is your basically your game using or which type of game it is and others okay so just give So I'm just simply create the website and then I'm just sharing my link policy update start and you need to just paste this thing click on save once you do that come in app content and now you need to set the target edition content click on start and in our game as you can see it's a 500 available but I'll be give for everything click on saved click on ok and add some switching nope then oh, oh, oh because our app show ad so i need to make sure that is uh, more than 17 to 18 so, uh, 16 to 17 and 18 over click on next nope next yes now come on back now new app or not uh, no click on saved come on back then COVID-19 status app mm, no so click on saved click on back and click on data safety and enable so click on next mm, no no click on saved yep saved okay so our data safety is also Done. so as you can see if everything is approved so now you can come in dashboard and now you can basically uh, your data safety is also over now you need to save the what kind of category it is so it's a game and then that is a basically a driving game so simulations and click on manage tracks and now I'll be said that it's an action category that is in a 4x wheel um that is basically a driving game so i'm just searching 
or you can search from here dr ive drive uh, let's search here so S I M I. So as you can see in simulation, S C U M simulator or simulation. There's a that is a simulation game, tr uh, truck, train, vehicle simulation. Okay. And yeah, car simulation also. That is uh, include a vehicle. Click on apply and saved. All the tags are now done. Now we need to add here. So asteroid develop. Uh, you need to basically put your email address now you need to add your website so just copy the link again and that is this one copy come at here paste this thing click on saved okay now you can come in dashboard and now you need to set up your basically app listing this thing will be user c so for now let's add something so we can skip so now we need to set the app icon so if you check my last video i show that how you can basically create the icons so just watch that video so now we need to just uh, fill up the from the icons and it will be work so if you want you can add the videos also so yeah i think that is enough click on saved so could be changed you also need to put the screenshot so let's go screenshot mm, in my gdx video okay now i can add any of image which one i want okay that is a 8 image in ma maximum in google play store you can upload 8 image so as you can see there is 8 image has been added then click on saved so there is some warning issue will become because i didn't fill up this thing but don't worry you need to just fill up your ones so once you do that you find here that your everything is now done so you can set it to start now release then also there is uh, some pre-registration available if you want the publication okay so uh, here you find the basically some test or anything if you want the release and build experiment or pre-registration so let's go to productions or just go to release overview first of all let's go to dashboard mm, all apps then set your game this now large group tester with control and now you can basically publish if you want you can basically pre-registration reports also if you want you can directly publish or you can basically apk or upload basically for pre-registration okay and then also you can for sync up test and release okay so for now let's give it that fully professional release so country and relation all country click on add once you do that you need to go to release click on create release and now you need to upload your basically the app bundle what you created in last of video you know that just click on open and it will be start uploading okay so guys that's all so i hope you understand that once this uploading is done you can click on save and review and release click on release and roll out and your game will be live in under 24 hours or 72 hours depend on your google console account because if your google console account is brand new so it will be take four to five days even seven days or in one month also but if you have a good traffic source that user the user from google play store they are basically downloading your app and other stuff so you can basically review under 24 hours to 72 hours okay so i hope you understand thank you so much for watching guys love you all bye bye see you in the next video